I'm David Simmons, and my home air conditioning and heating is controlled by this really old-fashioned clunker of a thermostat. Uh, it is a programmable thermostat, meaning I can set a schedule for changing the temperature, but it's really awkward, and my life doesn't follow a predictable schedule anyway. More importantly, it, it's not connected to the network. When I leave the house and forget to turn the air down, or when I'm out of town and worrying about my pipes freezing from a winter storm, I have no way of adjusting the thermostat. So I bought this Nest Learning Thermostat. It, it claims to be able to learn your schedule when you're home, when you're not at home, uh, and automatically adjust the, the temperature accordingly. I think there's no hope of it learning my schedule since I can't even figure out my schedule, but I do hope to benefit from it being a network device that I can control from my phone. Uh, so let's get this puppy unboxed. So the Nest comes with the uh, device itself, which has a uh, USB connector on the back, as well as a, some sort of proprietary connection for the base. It has the, uh, the base, you know, you take your thermostat wiring and plug it into here, and it just goes to the proprietary plug. Uh, optional mounting kit, I think these are for if uh, your old thermostat uh, had some unpainted drywall behind it, you can kind of cover that up, make it look a little bit nicer. And of course, most importantly, a screwdriver. Pretty cool, huh? So let's get this thing installed. First, I'll remove the old thermostat and its base. Uh, but first, I'll take a picture of how these wires are hooked up in case I need to reinstall it later. The drywall has some holes in it that are kind of unsightly, so I'll install this uh, plate to cover them up. I'm installing the nest base into the plate. Screwing it in and attaching the wires to the nest base. Now I'll install the nest and turn power onto the circuit. The nest is booting up. The Nest is now fully installed and it's ready to control my air conditioner and get some cool going. My house is always cool, but it's even cooler with air conditioning. Check out the settings here. I'll get an entry key so I can tie this into the Nest website and uh, use it from my mobile phone and whatnot. So I've had the Nest for a week and a half now, and I have to say I uh, like it. It works pretty well. You know, uh, it kind of comes alive when I walk by. I can wave my hand in front of it. It comes on. One nice feature is... Uh, after it learns you know, how fast your house can be cooled, it can tell you when you adjust the temperature, it'll tell you how long it'll take to cool the house. Like right now, uh, my house is at 75 degrees, and I'm telling it 72 degrees is where I want it, and it says it'll take one hour. If I told it, you know, 60, it's going to say it's going to be more than two hours. <laughs> so, uh, very slick interface. There are a few minor downsides I found to the Nest, and I'll discuss those, but for now, let's take a look at how it works with uh, mobile apps and, and the website for remote controlling your home's thermostat. So the, the killer app for the Nest, of course, is being able to control your thermostat settings when you're out and about from other computers, your mobile devices, from your laptop, or even you know when you're upstairs and you wanna go downstairs to change the thermostat. So let's take a look at how that works. 
have a computer here on the uh, Nest website. As you can see, the uh, you can control the thermostat here. It gives you an interface. Looks very similar to what you see on the thermostat itself. Works very nicely. You can go into settings and, and set up some crazy uh, schedules for yourself if you don't want to rely on it. You know, it's what it thinks your schedule should be. So what about mobile devices though? Can I check this from my phone? I can, yep, I have the Nest app running on my phone here. It shows a display just like you see on the thermostat itself. Uh, I can change the uh, thermostat settings to whatever I want and uh, check on what the temperature is when I'm out in my home, when I'm out and about. I can make sure my pipes are gonna freeze in the winter if I'm on a road trip or or whatever. So what about the iPad? Does it work on the iPad? It does work on the iPad. It gives you an interface very similar to the website. You can go to the, um, you know, control the temperature just like the other interfaces. See, what about Android tablets? Does it work on Android tablets? No, no, it doesn't. Epic fail. It says Nest Mobile doesn't yet work with your Android's uh, screen size and resolution. So, uh, you know, I'm an Android programmer. It's really, I know how this works. It's lazy programming. There's no excuse for it. So, but what can we do? Can we just go to the, uh, the Nest website? And just use the web interface. Uh, no, it says you could down, you should download the app, <laughs> but the app doesn't work. <laughs> so I'll, uh, but what we can do, if you're running a recent version of Android, you can say request desktop site. So it doesn't think you're on a tablet and then And then you get the web interface and it actually works pretty well. Good enough to use. So, so Nest, guys, if you're out there, let's, uh, let's get this uh, app fixed up here. It's all about resolution independent programming. Your app should not totally fail uh, just because it's, the screen size is something that you don't recognize. I mean, this is just programming one-on-one -on -one here. Come on. Outside of the problem with running the Android app on a tablet, the only, the only other real issue I've had with Nest is uh, occasionally I go to the website or the mobile app and it says it can't communicate with my Nest uh, because the, my Nest has lost its connection to the cloud. Uh, the Nest people say that it's an issue with some routers, that uh, the net uh, connection is timing out, but I really... I don't know. You, you'd think that they would use Keep Alive's or something because my IM client works just fine and other programs that use persistent connections work just fine without constantly timing out because they send Keep Alive's and keep the connection fresh. Uh, but you will occasionally, depending on your router, perhaps get this message that you see here, uh, the question mark in front of your thermostat, meaning that uh, it's lost a connection. Usually, if I just wait a minute or two, it'll come back. Outside of that, there are some you know, potential issues that I haven't really uh, experienced yet, but I do wonder what happens when I open my windows and I want to turn the Nest thermostat off, but I, I don't want it to go into away mode. I don't want it to think that I'm not there and, and try to learn from that just because I am there with uh, the windows down. I'm not sure exactly how you go about programming it for that. Uh, some people on, on the internet on forums have expressed concern about what happens if the Nest battery dies. Because uh, that apparently does happen to some people. Uh, the Nest battery will die and the thermostat will stop working. And if that happens in the winter, uh, when it gets very, very cold, it could mean that your pipes freeze because nothing turns the heater on. And that could be an issue. So some people are concerned about that. Uh, I'll wait and see. It's, so far, it's pretty reliable for me. So I haven't, haven't had any issues. So that's my review of the Nest Learning Thermostat. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.